Hey guys, this is Gloria. So I am here to share with you guys um, some markers that I picked up from Tuesday morning and to share with you what they look like once you use them. Um, so on my first visit, I um, found these aqua markers and they're by Letra Set. And then on my second visit, I found these pack of flex markers and this is the way that they came all taped up like this. I'm not sure why, but um, two packs of them came like completely taped up. These are markers that I've had in my stash for a long time and um, I actually got um, information on these markers probably about almost two years ago maybe and um, Shantae uh, here on um, YouTube used these markers and um, I purchased them from um, I forget the site right now but she gave me the site link and they were on clearance or on sale for like a dollar and some change so I picked up a bunch of them then and um, the letter set pro markers are no longer being made but um, they changed the name to uh, Winton and Newton I believe it's called um, and they're the same thing but anyway these are alcohol based markers much cheaper than Copic markers and I love these markers because of the bullet tip that um, they have um, this is the way the tip looks and it's a lot easier for me to use when coloring in images because I tend to color kind of hard and the brush tips on the um, Copic markers um, they just don't work well for me however um, I did pick these up and these are the aqua markers not knowing what they really were just knowing the brand name of them and my receipt is back here because I was thinking about taking these back, but I think I'm going to give them to my daughter because she likes to do watercoloring. But this is the um, SKU number for the markers. And um, these particular markers, like I said, um, are aqua markers, meaning that they are water-based um, markers. These are not alcohol markers, and they work kind of like your watercolors where you put the... Um, put the marker down on the watercolor paper and then you use water to move the, the ink around. And I didn't know that that's what these were, but um, for $4.99, you can't beat it because it's like pretty much buying one marker, one or two markers in the store and you're getting, you know, five markers for that same price. So um, I picked up those. And then I also picked up um, these flex markers. And like I said, this is the way that they came all taped up in this bag. Um, but I'll open them up and share with you guys. Um, this is the SKU number for these. And um, I didn't know what uh, what it meant to be a flex marker. Um, but what this is, is it has a tip very similar to a Copic marker tip. And it also has your brush, not brush tip, but your chisel tip. So this is the chisel tip on this end. And this is the brush tip on this end so very similar to a Copic marker and these are definitely alcohol based markers and you can blend them with um, you know with each other as well as use a blender pen as well as use um, other markers like the pro markers and blend them together and they come in some really pretty colors and what I've learned is that the flex markers are not the same color as the pro markers so if you purchase the flex markers you can't use them with your pro markers which is great so I purchased this um, set of five and these were $4.99 so like a dollar a marker which is not bad at all and I also purchased this set here um, which is the same thing flex markers and um, these are the colors that were in that bag and I don't know if they have the same oh yeah they have the same SKU numbers so you just kind of got to look at them to make sure that um, you're not buying like um, duplicate markers because they package them up of course um, for you to purchase so those are the markers that I got from Tuesday morning and I just wanted to share with you guys um, some images that I colored this is a wooden stamp that I have and this image was actually colored with um, just the flex markers that were in um, the pack that I just purchased and um, you know they I don't, I'm not very good at coloring but I think that they do a very good job um, like I said they're just like the alcohol Copic markers that everybody else has 
you can do your shading with it and you can color in your images. Um, I even put a little blush right here on his cheek and um, went over that with a marker. And so it came out really nice. And I love, I love using my little markers. Um, I wish that Copic had a bullet nib um, so that I can use those, but they don't have that. So, and this is another image that I colored. And this is the image using um, these, you know, the pro markers that I already had. And I think it came out super duper cute. I just have to get um, more grays because my gray is running out, but it still came out super pretty. This is one of my favorite um, Christmas type images, but I just think she came out super cute. So it's a, a very cheap way to get your alcohol markers and not have to um, spend so much on the Copic markers. Although the Copic markers are great because, you know, the coloring chart and all that stuff and how they're labeled makes it easier to blend. Um, I find that the Pro markers, you have to kind of try to figure it out on your own or go to YouTube and kind of um, figure out uh, the different um, combinations of colors and stuff. But I mainly stick to certain colors, the, the pinks, the grays, um, greens, purples, um, but the more lighter pastel type colors. Um, so that is it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I did pick up a few more things, but it's like the same stuff that other people were picking up from Tuesday morning. And I hadn't seen anyone haul these markers. And I just thought that if you don't have alcohol markers, these are a great deal. Um, I like these as well because you can actually color on your image, let it dry, come back and color with the same marker, and you can do your shading that way. So you don't have to have a bunch of different markers to do your coloring. Um, you can just have a few and just um, layer the color on um, to make certain areas darker and lighter and stuff like that. So that is about it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, um, please leave them down below. And I'll get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Take care, guys. Bye.